Welcome back, everyone, to this edition of Try Hard Gaming with me, Roll Cage TV, where I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but a whole lot of remembering to hit my stopwatch button. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> My previous uh, uh, first part of the stream, previous episode, I uh, just yeah I was going on and on for 15 minutes or so without hitting my button, trying to make these uh, videos um, between 45 minutes and an hour. That's what I like to make these videos, and uh, so I have no idea how long the last video was, but uh, you will know how long the last video was if you watched it. It'll be in the playlist just before this video. Anyway, I was in the middle of um, something here. Okay, uh, I was in the getting ready to start my next turn, and uh, we got some action over here. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. Trying to find that barbarian encampment. Oh, and here comes my uh, club then. They will help. They're going into my town so that I can upgrade them. I gotta remember I needed, uh... Poland has built a harbor somewhere. I saw okay. a bank that said 24-hour banking. But I didn't uh -huh. have that much time. Um, right. Okay. Fine. Oh! I've got another great person? Great merchant! Alright! Uh, sure. Recruit him. What does he do? Gains 67 faith. Gains one free copy of the luxury resource on this. Oh! Gains. Grants one free copy of the luxury resource on this tile to your capital city. Really? Okay, so. Anywhere. I can just send him anywhere. Um, so where is there a luxury resource that I don't have? Like, on this continent somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Oh, oranges! Okay, see? Yeah, I will, I will not be able to get oranges. Oranges is gonna be on this continent. There's another oranges there. I will not be able to get oranges. But if I send him over there, and I have open borders right now with Poland... I'll suddenly get oranges. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, let me, I think, I think that's how it works. Okay, but I gotta send him with, with somebody so he doesn't get stolen. Um, I can send him with that warrior monk. <laughs> or I can, uh, oh wait, I, I can transfer him first over to here and I already got guys coming in here. In fact, I have a warrior monk coming here, and I got another guy coming here in just a few um, four turns. Okay, so I'll, I'll transfer him over there. Uh, transfer him to... Here. Okay. And now all I have to do is escort him up there to the oranges and bam, I've got oranges. Awesome. And I've got somebody coming here that I can escort him with in another turn. I've got somebody there. I've got a warrior monk I can escort him with right now. Yeah. Cool. Um, can I actually... Oh, I don't have the warrior monk there. Okay. I thought I sent a warrior monk here. No, I'm thinking of the missionary, I guess. Okay. That's fine. I will, um, have one of these guys escort him. Uh, he has to travel there, right? I'm assuming he has to travel there. Okay. Um, city states. 
Still got the suzerain here. Uh, okay, I'm still two ahead there, so I can afford to pass up that up. Um, this will get me... Oh, I've got two envoys. I can test suzerain. But this will get me, one more will get me to the next level, which is uh, that's not really much. See, plus four production if it is plus two production in every city with a factory or consulate building. I have neither of those. When producing wonders, buildings, and districts. Okay, that doesn't give me, that doesn't do much for me at all. Um, Uh, gold in the capital in every market or lighthouse building. Okay, I do have a lighthouse building. Gold in every bank, shipyard, and consulate building. Okay, well, I, I just got a bank. Um, I think I have two right now, right? Yes. Okay. I'll do that. Seems helpful. Uh, mercantilism was just boosted, yay. And, um, oh, I need a nighter before I can upgrade it? Really? Okay, where, where is, where is my nighter? When, when is that builder coming? One turn, okay. Um, okay, well, I won't, I won't upgrade them then yet, which is nice to know. I will move him. I will move him to here, as I can. And now I will take link him. And now he can't move yet, but he will be—he will be able to move next turn. Okay, good. And he'll come up there, get me my oranges, and then I'll have the niter, and then I can upgrade those guys. Didn't I thought these guys upgraded? Didn't these guys upgrade to? Um, I thought these guys upgraded to. Um, Oh, they upgrade the swordsmen. Wait. What? Why do I need Niter for a swordsman? Warrior. I thought warriors upgraded to these guys. What I'm producing here. Um, man at arms. Don't warriors upgrade to man at arms? Can I no longer produce man at arms? Did the did I cross? Yeah, I can produce some man in arms. So the warriors upgrade the knights? Wait, I'm paying snow. Wait, what? Must be a friend to tell me. Says you need one knighter to upgrade this type of unit. Okay. Well, anybody does anybody have niter I can trade with? You have one niter. You're not going to trade that. Um.
you have only one nighter, you won't trade that. And you have no nighter, so you're not going to trade any of that. Okay. That's weird that you need the nighter to upgrade them, even though you don't need... a warrior. Warrior. Upgrades to swordsman. But where did I get the... Was the man at arms an upgrade from them? I was confused with this. Upgrades to musketmen. It doesn't say upgrades from swordsmen. Oh, okay. So the the clubman, the warriors upgrade to swordsmen, which then upgrades to the man at arms. And is this why I need the knighter? But I can create the man at arms without the. Okay. Um, don't completely understand, but okay, I need the nighter. I'm going to get it soon. Oh boy. Now I've got lots of people here. Um, this other clubman, since you're not doing anything right now, maybe uh, come down here and help me. Which is what that clubman was going to do, but I've got another job for him now. I thought I was going to be able to upgrade him. Apparently I'm not going to be able to upgrade him. Okay, this is Musketman. Ugh. Uh, Spearman. Uh, they're going to outclass me, aren't they? Oh, they're in ideal terrain. Okay. Let's, um, at least damage them, then I might have to retreat. Because they're probably going to hurt me bad. But I do have a Bandit Arms coming here. In, um, four turns. Okay, can I buy something here now? Probably not. Um, builder, great. That's odd. It's not, it's not letting me build a scout. Oh, that's because I got somebody there on the thing. Okay, but at least I can see what the prices are. So if I move them, I could. 480 for crossbowmen. Yeah, too much. 425 for man at arms. Okay. Those barbarians are difficult gonna have to get more units over there probably I thought I could upgrade those guys well I can once I get that nighter I'll be able to upgrade them then they'll be better but meanwhile I do want to get that guy over there it should be safe um, but you know just in case Poland might turn on me at the last second I don't want to lose him okay and you were going to go meet uh, that settler. And you were going to go here for one turn to verify that there's nothing there. Yes? 
Okay, and then work your way south to try to take out that scout, which you should be able to do on your own. Okay. More excitement. Let's see what the musketmen do. How much they hurt me. They will probably hurt me a lot. Oh, archers are going to shoot at me too. Great. They hurt me. Not as much as I was afraid they were going to. What can be labeled packaged mass produced. What? Okay. Good. The Navy has both a tradition and a future. And we look with pride uh, and confidence in both. Okay, let's look at my policies. Uh, navigation, great admiral points. I don't think that's terribly important right now. What was the other one I got? 100% harbor district adjacency bonus. Um, definitely want that. I'm fighting barbarians there. Reduced by one gold. I need it gold. I need the housing. I want the influence points. Cross purchasing tile production in all cities. Yeah. Oh, I definitely need more trade routes. But for that, I need more commercial hubs and buildings on the commercial hubs. And uh, so that means I should have another trade route available because I just put a building on one of the commercial hubs and according to that thing I do. So I can build a trader somewhere. Build or buy. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Ah, but I can do new civic. And what was I marching towards here? Uh, maintain four trade routes. I don't quite have enough to do that. Um, Theocracy, I said I did not need. I think Mercantile Republic. Um, what what is my government right now? Monarchy. Okay. And so, to get to democracy, how do I get to democracy? Uh, a long way. 54 turns right now. <laughs> okay, so I got a ways, I got a long ways to go before I get to that. Okay, so. See, I don't know what these policies are, though. I have to look them all up. I have no idea whether these policies are going to help me or not. And I can't, like, tab through them here. And if I hit the Y button to give me information, it just gives me information on medieval fairies, but it doesn't even tell, give me the names of the policies that it unlocks. See, so it just says unlocks, and these, these things... But I don't have a mouse button to hover over them and see what they are. So I have to actually go and look everything up individually. Uh, let me see what Traveling Merchants does. Requires guilds plus two great merchant points per turn. Okay. I'm already getting great merchant points from somewhere. So that's less important to me. Um, aesthetics. Let me see what aesthetics does. Uh, y A E S. Plus 100% theater square district adjacency bonuses. Okay, that might be good. Because I'm going to be building some theater squares. 
Okay, so that looks like one that I might want to do. That's a cultural based one. Is that what that purple dot means? That it's a culture based one? Now she's recommending guilds. My my guide. Um why is she recommending guilds? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to go with this one. Neither one is boosted, but... I don't know what exploration unlocks. It doesn't tell me. I am just going to go with this one, because I don't know what else to do. And then after that, I'll decide. And uh, let's see, now I also have City State stuff. I have one more Envoy. Again, always check to see, because this one is critically important to me. Five, okay, so she's giving up on contesting that. Um, introduction goal, okay, so I've got that. Anyone else that I can get close to being a suzerain of that I would care about? Mogadishu, maybe? See, that's really uh, isolated from me. I might still be able to use Mogadishu for something. But I don't think I'm close to being able to, because I think France is really... Yeah, I need eight to get the suzerain status. France has that completely locked down. Um, gold never exchange, seaport, and chance rebuilding. Okay. Plus six gold. That's good. Um, I don't even know where this is. I only need four to be suzerain of this place. And they're more useful to me, I think, than Toronto. Because it's only when producing wonders, buildings, and districts. Well, production in the capital. Now, I could save it just in case they put two in that, but I don't think they're going to. Okay, so I'll make a play for this. Oh, what? Okay, I hit the wrong button, that's what happened. Okay. And that's like nowhere near valuable to me, um, strategically speaking. I mean, it's like way up here and I'm not gonna do much here. I might be able to sneak south and do more on this continent. Uh, production! Yay, the builder is complete! Um, and what did I want to do next then? Did I have a plan? Uh, first of all, what I want to do is take the builder and move him to here. Very important. I get that miter. I'm going to have to expand one of the cities. I don't know which one yet.
who has, I don't know who has the most spare population. So when it has six, Rollville has nine. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to even think about this. Um, can I just buy this now and do something with it? Will that give it to me if I buy it now? Or I have to improve it first. Oh, yeah, let me look at this. Did I get the pearls? Because I am working it. No. So I have to, do I have to send a builder there? Maybe I have to send a builder there. Okay, well this builder is going to have a lot to do then. First the builder is going to go there, and then the builder is going to go here. Uh, here. And... I don't know what they build for that, but... Uh, Let's tag it, tack it, or whatever it is. Now see, now it's highlighting this, and if I scroll down here, it's gonna scroll to that, but that's not what I want. I want it to be here, where I already had this one. Okay, here. And, Farm, camp, mine, pasture, quarry, fishing boats. Maybe that's it. Fishing boats. Sure. Uh, just call it builder. Okay. okay. So what do I want to make? Probably another builder would actually be good. Or what districts? Can I build any more districts out of here? I can build a bank in the district I want I have. Eleven turns. Projects. Campus research grants. Give me science. And great scientist points. Gold investor return. Great merchant points and finished. Okay, what so what? I already have something in this commercial hub. Do I not? What's the, what's, is bank the first level or is there something else that comes first? Commercial hub. Um, bank is the first one. Okay, so let's put a bank there so it's actually be useful. Then I am going to also add a builder to the queue. I don't want that. I could buy it out right now, but I'm going to save the gold right now. So I might want to get the builder first. That's two charges, two charges, and then I'm going to need to build out this as well. Yeah, let's uh, let's swap those around. And now it's going to 
change me all around when I do this. Wait, what? What did I do? It should be working on a bank, right? Oh, I did not have this on multi queue. Now it's on multi queue. Terrible interface. You gotta keep scrolling up here in order to click this button. I mean, yeah, I'm playing with a controller, but they could make it a lot easier with the controller. Believe me, a lot easier. Terrible interface. There's no reason they can't have a right bumper tab and pull up the uh, buy with, buy with um, gold tab or the buy with whatever tab. But, you know, the, the right and left bumpers, which are used at, to navigate through tabs in most games with the controller, they don't, um, they don't do anything here. And the only way to see that you can buy a unit with gold is to turn off this Q, uncheck this Q button. And there's no hotkey or anything to do it. It's not like you can hit X or Y or something to turn that off. You just have to scroll up to it. And it's not easy to scroll because if, if one of these things are open, you just have to like hold down, you know, either the D-pad or the, the, um, um, the joystick. Terrible interface. Great game, but terrible, terrible interface they designed for it. I mean, I, I appreciate that the game came to console, but they did not, they, they, I don't know how they came up with the terrible design that they made for this. So many things you can't do that could have easily been included, like searching for things on the map. Um, there's just no option to do it. You can you can pull up the um, you know there's this there's this these map options here where you can look at the lenses and the tax and the mini map. They could have easily added another one of these things for searching, but they didn't. Why? I don't know. They felt like they didn't have to. People would buy it regardless. I guess I don't know. Just a crappy job. And um, which is probably why the company is no longer around. The company that was doing, that did the port, um, was bought out uh, because they were failing to meet their deadlines. They were making commitments they couldn't keep, including the latest release for this game, the leader pack. They uh, couldn't meet that deadline, and so they ended up being bought out. So now we don't know if the leader pack is ever going to come out until they find someone else to do the development. Hopefully, Civilization 7 will be, they'll have a better company. I don't know. The company that was bought out, Aspire, they were bought out by a company that's a division of THQ Nordic. So there's always hope because THQ Nordic is a pretty good uh, organization. Anyway, okay, let's see. Apu. Uh, what does Apu... Well, what do they need, first of all? Um, let's... Um, they are... Wow, they're very happy. Three turns to a new citizens born. Nothing red. Don't have any amenities, but um, okay. So uh, they don't have a lot of production right now, though. I'm sure it's going to take me forever to build anything. So what would be something to build? A builder? A military unit? A district? Uh, monuments usually a good place to start because it gives me culture and I need culture. So um, campus is always a good idea, but it's going to take 36 turns. Maybe I want to grow a little bit first. Granary would be good, but they just built the granary. Computer square is also good. Aqueduct. I didn't. 
I didn't need an aqueduct here, did I? No, they're right next to the uh, lake there. Um, okay. Wonders. Yeah, obviously uh, not the best place for thinking about that right now. Uh, builder, 12 turns. Scout, 4 turns. Scout's actually not a terrible idea. Because um, then the scout can go... I could use a scout other places. They're weak. But... Um, they're good for like I have a scout here they're good they're good for listening posts I'm thinking I could use the scout over here maybe while this city is being built up um, but let's let's do something that's actually going to improve this this city which uh, is probably a builder so I'll do that And uh, now let's let's move us some units. Ah, trader. Okay. Oh, I need to build another trader somewhere too. Or is this this my third trader? Let me. Ah, okay. That's uh, that is my third trader. And. Now it doesn't tell me where he goes, right? But if I unselect him and select him again and hit the button, now it'll give me the option to repeat the route that I was on. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's let's look at all the units. I think I want to keep it here because I want to keep her happy as much as I can. Um... The lower number of turns helps in that it will expire potentially sooner. They have to make a round trip if it's a short, but there's a minimum number of turns they have to go. And so, um, excuse me, depending on the age, I don't know what age I'm in, but it's like 21, 31, 41, escalating like that. And so, if you take one of these larger ones, like Kerma, that's 10 turns. Well, if it's 21, they make a round trip in 10 turns. Um, well, they'll have to go make another round trip in another 10 turns. And then they still won't hit the 21, so it'll be another 10 turns. It means nine turns over what, they're, what they could have done. Uh, whereas the one that's only four turns... Um, I could spread my faith if I go here. Everything else is the same. I get production if I go here. I don't care about spreading my faith. I care about it being defensive. Anyway, yes, the point of that is... Um, I, could, I could do better, though. Is this 11 gold? Yeah, I think I have to do this one. Yeah, I think I have to do this one. Anyway, because the shorter route is advantageous because it's likely to expire sooner so then you can redirect it because you can't stop a trade route in the middle. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to, uh, move it to there. Okay. And yeah, next turn, or next. Ah, Settler! Finally! Settler! And where is the Settler's Escort? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to send, uh, the scout to escort the settler, I think. 
because nobody else is going to be I don't want them to go out of my territory on their own anywhere so uh, let's link them right up right now okay. so this guy doesn't have to be this guy doesn't have to be here but he, he can come over here to replace the scout I've got more than enough military on this little island to defend it right now. So, uh, actually, while he's here, wasn't he just scout around some? I mean, he's not a warship. So there's some risk to that, but... And I can't upgrade him... Because I must be in friendly territory. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Ah, and this is um, this is this guy. He's gonna go here and get me some oranges. Oh, wait, there's oranges there that are not in their territory, but they're outside of my range. Okay. Well, that's good and safe, then. So that's good. I thought I'd have to sneak in there and grab those oranges, but that's okay. I can grab these oranges. And they're outside the range of this city, and I doubt if I'm going to be able to sneak another city up here. And this way I won't have to sneak another city up there, but I would like to sneak another city down here. But I gotta deal with these barbarians first. Um. Yeah, should they just run away? I can get rid of those crossbowmen, or I can run away, or I can uh, fortify. Because these guys are gonna hurt me, seriously. Let me get the preview up. Yeah, see, they, they'd hurt me a lot. Oh, it says minor victory, but still, they're going to hurt me a lot. Oh, no, wait. Are those not the musketmen? No, those are the musketmen. Um, I guess I'll take these down first. Because I think I can survive at least one more turn from them. And maybe I'll get a promotion if I'm lucky. <laughs> if I'm lucky. Okay. Let's see. Do I want to end this here or do I want to keep going? I'm going to go one more turn. Let's see what happens. Right at about the 45 minute mark. Oh! Yes, your embassy is most welcome. I, I have a feeling that that archer is going to have to run away at some point because the musket men are too. Oh, maybe they're going to help! Are they going to help with the barbarians? No. Uh oh. Oh no! Rocks they in my path. Die. Crap. I keep them all. With them, I shall build my castle. I thought the musketmen were the musketmen were melee units. Well, this is sad. Okay. Uh, what can I build out of here quickly? I've got some gold built up. I should be able to build, get another crossbowman, right? I've got a man at arms coming in one turn, but uh, I need something right now, too. 
480 gold, just enough. Let's do it. Yes, I know what happened. Ah, I got confused with the musket men. I didn't realize they were they were an, uh, an infantry unit. I probably should have thought about that, but I thought that they were a ranged unit. I should have run away or, or encamped or something. That's sad. Okay. Well, I'll have two more units coming down here. I've got these warriors. They can stay in. They can, like, stay right there where they are and defend. They can encamp. Okay. Uh, Swinette. Ah, they completed the crossbowman, which was going to be used to um, escort those guys, but they don't have to escort them now. Um, well, I wish I could just transfer them. Okay, that has enough military to defend myself when I'm there. Those crossbowmen are basically scouting. Actually, maybe I should send the scout to scout. Or build like a ship. Um, okay. Oh, I need to get open borders again with what's her name? That expired. Yeah, I know it's an unfair deal. Um, I'm working on that. Yeah, that's acceptable to you. Okay, good. I could maybe get some gold for this as well, but it's fine. Yes, okay, thank you. I'm, I'm glad. She's starting to warm up to me a little bit. I didn't think so. I tried. Um, I'm building districts. Yeah, I'm lagging behind a building districts. Yeah, I know. I know I am. <laughs> okay, so. Crossbowmen. Now that I have open borders, I can run the crossbowmen over here. It's going to take many, many turns. It's interesting that are they following a trade route? Maybe they're following a trade route. I don't know. Okay, it's gonna take eleven turns to get here. Uh, let's just put them here. In ten turns, something else is gonna change. Okay, so now, what do I want to build here? Um, um, I had a plan. <laughs> I don't remember what the plan was. A granary to help with housing. I think that's one of the things that I wanted. Because I don't think, I think they were one of the ones that were having housing problems, right? Uh, um, no, they have plenty of housing. Thebes needs housing. And uh, they're also happy with amenities. Okay, so I can do something more interesting with them. Like, um, um, Oh, walls. I was going to build walls. Or do I have ancient walls already? I think I already have ancient walls. 
Yes, I have ancient walls. I can see in the thing. Um, I can build a university on the campus. Oh, I need a, I need like one more person in here to build the next district, don't I? Yes, I wanted to build another district, but I need one more person. How soon am I getting to getting another person? Is the 22 turns that? Um, no, that's the wrong button. That's fine. Eighteen, but they're unhappy with something. Nothing currently being produced. Health. <laughs> it's not telling me what the 18 means. Stop it! Oh, I put that on production. I put it on the wrong thing. Okay. Now, does that mean I'm going to get a new citizen in eight turns? I don't know what that eight means, and it doesn't explain it to me. Not even does the uh, instruction manual that comes that you can download with... By the way, I have tutorials and links to tutorials and the manual for the game in at the first... The first video in this series um a uh, and, uh, it's uh, it's zero it's in the it's the first video in the series so it's the first one in the uh civ 2 playlist uh what was i looking at oh my head hurts as it always does um Oh wait, I think I can I think I can see it right from the city thing, right? Can I not? Hmm? Growth eight. Okay. So that means the city is going to grow in eight turns. So that means population is going to grow, or the square is going to grow, or both. Yes, but I was saying that the the um, eight turns until new citizen is born. Okay, so that is what that means. Eight turns. So if I leave it on food, what can I produce in eight turns? Is the idea. So I can grow, so I can build the district. So water mill gives me. Oh, that's nice. Gives me one production, one food. So there's no reason not to do that. Bonus reason for the farm scheme plus one food. Oh, that looks like a really good one. And then that'll be two turns after that. Um, I can... I'll have actually the food plus one food. Maybe I'll actually... It'll only be one turn or something. Okay. Let's do that. Um, next, crossbowman. Did I not already... Is this not the same crossbowman? Uh, okay. Where's this crossbowman going? I have two crossbowmen here. No, this is this crossbowman. Where's that crossbowman? Okay, he's going there. I have two crossbowmen here. 
Okay. Um. Did they go over there too? I'm not worried about Nubia right now. They moved all their troops. I guess. That crossbow was just going to come over here to hang out and defend. Let's overkill. I, I guess I'm gonna actually send them. I'll also move him over here. In 10 turns, I'll have more than enough force to take out that Bear Baron encampment. <laughs> okay, and this has got a scout as an escort, which is a terrible escort, but it's the best I'm going to go for now. Um, and those guys, I was scouting around with, just to look around. Which is the wrong unit for that, but what the heck. Okay, these guys are going to come down here. I'm going to do it slowly. Not to get ahead of myself. Okay, there's a scout I want to get rid of. And the clubman is going to... Um, he's going to stay across this river... I just want to see what's the better terrain. Uh, defense modifier three, defense modifier six. Okay, so he's gonna come here. And then he's gonna encamp there. Okay, and now I'm ready to end my turn and the episode. So I'm gonna take a quick break here. If you're watching on Twitch, I'll fill up the BRB screen and be right back. If you're watching on YouTube, that's gonna do it for this episode. Next episode will be out in uh, 24 hours or so from the time this one's out. It'll be the next in the playlist. Uh, so I hope to see you there. And if you're watching on Twitch, I hope to see you after the break. Either way, I will see you when I do.